Saturday, November the 4th, and we are out here doing some old school tillage. Uh, got the old chisel plow out, uh, flipped the uh, points over where they was getting sharp, and we are trying some old school tillage. Um, out here in the old hay field where we cleared off, uh, taking that chisel plow, trying to get some of this grass and stuff busted up and carried under. And so far it's doing a good job. What I like about the chisel plow so far is that uh, I may not go as deep as a ripper, but it's a consistent, um, consist, it's, uh, it busts us up the seed, or that hard pan all the way across. It ain't nothing but like eight inches of just loose, fluffy soil. And that's what I like about it. You know, as compared to a ripper where it's just lifting up every 30 inches, this is, this rip, uh, chisel plow set up on uh, 24 inches and it's busting up compaction and creating a loose uh, seed zone. That's what I like about it. pulling more shanks across there. This is an 11 shank set up on 24 inches. Um, so, no, yeah. The back gang is 24 inches with the front gang splitting them. So actually it's uh, 12 inches. It, 
if you can see, it still will stop that 4640 in its tracks. So that tells you we're doing some good if we're uh, busting up that them areas. So just a little weekly recap, uh, got the honeybee and the grain cart washed, yes, washed, and uh, put away in the shed for the winter time. I'm going to try to do a better job about washing stuff this year, that way it don't sit all fall, all winter, uh, dirty and nasty. I don't want to have to sit and look at dirty equipment. It's supposed to be in the 70s next week. Um, so, going to get this combine washed up. Uh, the corn headers blew off, but it needs washing. And still got the planter to wash. Yes, we have not washed our planter. Uh, just backed it in here and unhooked it. But yes, we're going to pull it out next week and wash it. Um, Fixing to go get the grain drill, uh, vacuum it out, and start on it. But yep, we uh, took the swing motor off our track hoe, took it down to the Kluger, Kruger, Kluger, something like that, hydraulics, almost to Memphis, and they're working on it. Hopefully, uh, they'll get it together and we can get the track hoe running. But until then, um, Gonna do some washing. I'm dreading that thing right there. It is, it, as you can see, it is nasty. Plum nasty. But we'll have her looking like a new one maybe by this time next week. You're doing more playing than washing. <laughs> Say hello to everybody. Wow. Where are you been? You have a good day at school? Yeah. You learn anything? Oh, I did not even go to school. Why didn't you go to school? No. No, did you play hooky? Uh, not yes. Yeah. Get in the combine wash. It's the last piece of a... Uh, I guess... Uh, Last piece of equipment other than the tractors that's going in the main shop here. Everything else has been washed. We're going to wait about the three tractors though because uh, we plan on doing lots of field work with them this fall. The A, it got washed the 4th of July so it's okay. Got the corn head cleaned up and washed. Grain drill, planter. And the seat tender, all washed up. Seat tender goes over there next to the honeybee, but um, can't wait and get the combine. It goes right here in front of the corn head. But Dylan's working in some wheat. Last uh, 20 acres, we had 20 acres of seed left over, so he decided to sow it. Our sister repainted the sign, so we gotta get it put back up. You're done. You got a long ways to go. <laughs> I still see a bunch of stuff. We're using uh, the garden hose to wash some of the, blow some of this stuff off. We'll use the pressure washer for uh, the main stuff, or for final cleanup. All right, you want me to take over? Tell them what we're doing. We are uh, watching the combine. Who got the 
you. Me. You and Daddy. Me and Daddy. Yes. Well, thank you, Daddy. Got a bit more dirty. Oh, you two wouldn't do it, Mike and your Daddy. And me sometimes. Your Daddy might not come up there. They might not come, but I don't even grab it. Huh? You don't even drive it. Wow, see, like when I'm in here for. I know, you didn't even show up for harvest. Tell them what you want to do. What do you want to do on the farm? Avocado. Can you drive straight? Glass. Yes. No, no, I don't even. No, the time that might me my top, it went, it went like go to the tons. Go to the what? To the tons. Oh, to the turns? Glass. Oh. That's the only thing that might me my top. Got the combine cleaned up today. About a 10 hour process. There are others that spend longer, but about 10 hours is all I want to spend cleaning on one. I believe you could spend a month cleaning on a combine and it still wouldn't be clean. It's never truly clean. The, fir the first minute you put it in the field, it is not ever going to be clean again. But uh, I believe this is the first time in a long time that we've had this much equipment cleaned up going into winter. Uh, the combine, I washed it, greased it, let it sit there and run, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, let them grease get in them burns, work all that water out, and then greased it again. So I've done that several times and it works really good. But everything gets cleaned up Except for the three tractors, uh, the sprayer, it's still, it's still fairly clean. It just needs rinsing off. But Dylan's out here um, scraping off the driveway out here where we've been washing everything. A uh, bunch of beans, rotten beans out here where we um, unloaded the auger, uh, unloaded into the bin with the auger had all them rotten beans he's taking them pulling them down there and uh, grading the driveway but pretty pretty fall day uh 80s today i'll tell you what washing equipment is tiresome work i am more slap dab out but well, we got the corn dog with us again today he's with dylan but he's scraping the driveway um, got to do some weight spraying sometime. I'm fixing to grab the planting cracker here, put it in the shed. Um, it's supposed to rain Thursday, uh, tomorrow, and this weekend, I think, so it may be a good chance to pull the radiator off because uh, there are several things we could be doing with it. But then get all this stuff cleaned up, prepare for the rain, um, and we'll probably bring you back with the shop project. testing today got the gator and the cow the gator with the cow on it it's a bit chilly out here got a cold north wind blowing so this cow makes it 
mighty nice. Knocks that wind off of you. First thing you do, you take your foot and you rake the trash bag. Now, all right, push it in and take your foot, put on there. Come on, girl. That's the fanciest soil test pulling clothes I've ever seen. Use your muscles. Come on. Let me help you. All right. Put your foot on there. All right, now pull it up out of the ground. Straight up. Pull hard. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, use some muscles. What am I gonna do with you? All right, you grab that side. All right, now you go take that dirt and dump it in this bucket. Just hold it right there. All right. Too much hard work. Me and Logan had to do it. Well, I might let you drive the right gator. Turn the radio off. If you drove the gator, that would help me out a lot. Put your foot on the step, step down there and push down. Push hard. Try it with the other one. Pull it out of the ground. Well, push. Okay. We want to get you kids some muscles. There you go, Spider Man. Now don't dump the dirt on the ground after we done done all that work. All right, going up here to the next farm. Up to go to? Yeah. Which one did you pick out? That one. 
You see that great big one? Yeah. I'll drive to that one. Oh, stop. I'm glad I got to pull a sample here, girl. If y'all don't think compaction is real, y'all get y'all a soil test probe and go pull your own samples. I'm sure these guys that pull them out of soil test will tell you exactly where your compaction layer is. Job in agronomy if she likes this kind of 